good news for the Windy. I got the Convergence looking really, really nice. It looks unbelievable, actually. And I didn't have to use Convergence strips. It was just, here, let's take a look. Adjusting the Convergence rings back here. I always wonder if someone actually messed with this thing in the past or not, but maybe they did, I don't know. But yeah, just messing with those for like an hour. I had to do it <laughs> while peeking over the edge here with one hand back there, because I could not fit this into the bedroom with a mirror. It just wouldn't fit through that door. Uh, another thing that helped a lot, these pots on the side, you can see right there, there's four of them. Those are the contrast and the RGB bias. The contrast was really, really high, so it kind of washed things out and kind of made things kind of bleed. So I turned the contrast down a lot, as well as the contrast knob down there, that black one on the left. And it gives me really, really sharp pixels. Plus, I don't want to have this thing at max brightness. It burns the tube out, hurts my eyes. I just don't like it. Win-win situation for turning contrast down. Colors also look fantastic. I'm just, I'm so happy about this. This is amazing. Uh, let's look at a game. I like this one a lot, not only because it's a fun game, but it's got a lot of really detailed artwork with lots of sharp pixels. So if you look at it, right here, this is a nice screen to like, reference things. Sorry about the scan lines or whatever, but man, it looks clean. Look at that. Oh man, I didn't think it would get this good. I thought it was some chassis problem or something, but no, it was just convergence rings. This is amazing. I love it. Um, oh, I also recapped the power supply down here. So now the chassis, power supply have been recapped. Oh man, the screen looks amazing. Next is gonna be the control panel. It's cool I have an original, I mentioned before, but dude, to get this thing off, I had to get, oh crap, these six screws off. But the problem is, for whatever reason, whatever, these holes, you're supposed to have like a square shaped hole for anti-rotation so you can get the nut out on the other side it's like stripped, so it's like a circle. So when I tried to twist the nut off on the other side, the whole bolt would rotate. So it was really, really difficult. So I had to get pliers and pinch it from this end really hard to unscrew the bolt from the other side. And in the process, I kind of messed up the artwork a little more, but whatever, it's gonna be replaced. I'll keep it just, you know, cause it's neat, but otherwise it's fine. I'm happy, this is great, amazing. And, uh, yeah, till next time.